we have seen that how we can configure the schedule task in our uh, install C installer so let's say I have this install C installer in which I have already configured one schedule task which will install uh, this which will install this exe application as a uh, job in which uh, this will be registered as a task scheduler so this is my task scheduler right and uh, ready to open first and I will show you what I am saying so now you can see that a list of all the jobs or tasks available right this is my installer and if I install this where is my exe seems like my system is getting hanged no we need to open first I'm showing you how it will uh, behave uh, when I do not make any changes to, to the task scheduler and uninstall it so I will just install first my application and the name of the my task is glory task right and as of now you can see that there is no glory task you can see right now installing it install finish go to the task refresh see a glory task is available now right now if I uninstall it and verify the same scheduler then you can see that no one there is no any glory task right now right now in case let's say I just just install it right and after installation if I refresh and edit my job or task manually like I have configured it for Windows 10 because this is my Windows 10 right and save ok with my permission because I have installed with my credential right so it is taken my credential by default right and I have provided the password uh, of this credential of this user while installation already so then ok now if I uninstall the application then I will be hoping that uh, my schedule task is glory task will be removed right but let's see what happens next remove refresh my task scheduler it is not going now I'll come back and again refresh no my application has been uninstalled you can see that or I can show you by directly through this because there is an option wait a minute let's say if I uninstall through this and it says that the application is already uninstalled so that means I do not need to check or control manual so now you can now you have seen that if you make any kind of changes to this installed schedule task then that schedule task will not be removed automatically by an installation of your product right so now we have to remove this we either can manually delete it but if we have to delete it by with an installation phase then we need to run a batch file i have configured a batch file let me show you this is my batch file in batch file i have just used scstars.exe and i have provided the command like delete option and tn and here i have written the name of the task so that task name comes from the 
task name field not from this field so task name field is glory task and the task name here is final task so we will be using that glory task value so i have used this one now let's say i have configured this uh, batch file to be invoked uh, from the install sheet custom action but as you can see that there is no custom action to invoke a batch file you can see but there is an option for bb file so what i will doing is that i have configured my batch file and now i will be adding that batch file firstly to my installer so i know where is my batch file my batch file is this i will be adding it i will be adding it as support file in the language insert done right now you know that batch file cannot be uh, called directly uh, through the custom access as i have already shown you so i am going to prefer to invoke it via within the vv script so i have already directed uh, run the vv script code as well so this is my vv script code these two lines are quite common i have created a batch file variable in batch file variable this is the commented code because i have tested this code with this is commented code so i am just ignoring this value and coming to this so as of now you can see that i am setting the content of my batch file the batch file variable through this url so basically it is like uh, i am just setting the well batch file value with the complete full path of the batch file right so how, this is the property name that means i need to create this property and i am just invoking or i will just commenting it so after fetching the complete path of the uh, batch file which i have added in the support file i will be invoking it in the and bin run right so i have added my batch file now i have to invoke this edit batch file through support uh, directory so what i will be doing i will be just uh, storing the full complete path of this batch file inside a property so i will be creating a property and the property name would be this the value will be default value now i have created the property i have added my Uh, batch file now i need to store the full complete path of this edit batch file in a property which i have created so how i will do i will do it by custom actions so i will go into custom actions i will be saying that set batch file path to property right nothing else next i am running bb code right and bb code will be in the custom actions my now i will be just copy paste this code right this is my tested code already so i am not worrying about it next this is wrong i think this is wrong i am saying i need to set the value of property first right so i will be saying set a property next i am saying that the property name is this and what is the value the value would be the path of that uh, batch file we have added so i have already set up the value so the value would be like as the batch file is in the support area so i have used support area format right so this is the complete value and this will be removed by an installation right right so installation that means install initialize and here the option will be remove next finish basically i have stored the value 
of this uh, batch files complete path in the property which is the path to batch file via this value right now after doing this i need to create one more uh, custom actions right which will invoke uh, that batch file with run admin so i said invoke batch file nothing next run vb code correct i am running this code in a script i have a script now control a control c yes this way next 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 i will be running it after the set patch file pro to properly ready this is my custom actions already here it will be run while move next finish so what i go will going to do is that i will just verify whether um, there is any no so the application does not exist but as you can see that this one exists so what i will be doing is that i will be just deleting it manually right now i will be compiling it so that i can run it now install our application next 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 install then right now after installation i will just verify our oh, new so there is a glory task uh, task job available this time i am going to change it i said i need to run it on dot that okay it will ask me the password for my credential which i have filled while installation then so this is okay and then and uh, now if i uninstall this same application then i am hoping that my batch file in my bb script will execute correctly and this will get installed next move back remove c now, now. right uninstalled and if i just check the task scheduler there is a glory hole task now i have file no glory task right because we have forcefully uninstalled it so this is the demo to uninstall the task scheduler or task scheduler uh, jobs so thanks so much